everybody. I'm back with a daily puzzle for beginners challenge. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the puzzle from last video. So this is white to play and checkmate in two moves. So let's see how we can do this. So the first thing we want to look at, as we always do, is checks. So let's look at some of the checks white has. White has queen to e8 check, queen to e6 check, knight to f6 check. These are the only checks that are good, or not horrible, because obviously queen here and queen here are both bad. Queen takes g7 is a check that's also good. Now let's look at all of them. Let's begin by looking at queen takes g7. After queen takes g7, black simply plays queen takes g7. And after knight takes, black plays king takes g7. Does black have any other options at all? Well, no, because he can't move his king anywhere. Right? So he has to take. And white obviously should take the queen back. And black should take a free piece. Now let's look at this position. Well, it's already been two moves, so therefore this can't be the answer to our position. But white is winning in this position. This is a possibility that white can play that leads to a winning position. But this obviously is not even close to the best move. Okay, now let's look at another check. Queen to e8 check. So black has two ways to respond to this. First one is king h7. And after king h7, white doesn't have any more good checks. And now it's just a slow endgame grind where white has to push once again to win the game. For example, no knight f6 because of a free free because of a free knight on f6. Okay, so what if queen e6? Well now, once again, if king h7 then but white can play queen f f5 check and black is allowing some things but black should be fine after king h8 for example check check this is just a draw and that's not white wants so all of these checks are good but that and white should still win the game but it's not the winning continuation so let's find out what the winning continuation is. So the winning continuation is the one check we haven't looked at yet. Knight to f6 check. So you might think, what if bishop takes knight? Well, the problem is, white has a pin. The, pinning the bishop to the king, right? So therefore he can't take the knight. So that leaves him with, th with just king moves. So he obviously can go here because of the queen, and the same for king h7. And same for king g7. So that leaves two options. King f8 and king h8. So let's see what happens after both. So if king h8. We have the checkmate queen to h7. How is this checkmate? Well he can go to either of these squares because of the queen. And he can take the queen because of the knight. And therefore white wins. So let's look at the other option. King to f8. Well, after king to f8, we have queen to e8, checkmate. And he can go here, here, here. So he can go to these two squares because of the queen. He can't go to g7 because of his bishop. He can't go to e8 because of the knight. And he can't go to e7 because of the queen. Therefore, white wins the game. Now let's look at the puzzle for today. This is white to play and checkmate in two moves. Good luck solving the puzzle, my friends, and if you're enjoying my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next video, bye-bye, everybody.